Welcome again, uh, viewer, and today, before we begin, we need to pray. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. You are great and mighty. And for today, again, as we consider the third less known person who should be our friend during such a time, we ask you that your spirit may guide us in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, today, let's turn to the book of uh, Colossians chapter 4, verse 10. The Bible reads, Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, greets you with Mark, the cousin of Barnabas, about whom you received instruction. If he comes to you, welcome him. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, greets you. So the topic of today is Aristarchus sends greetings. Now one thing we know of Aristarchus as to why we need to friend him at this particular time is he was truly filled with the Holy Spirit of the Lord. Without being filled with the Holy Spirit of the Lord, there are things you cannot do by your own self. It is only the Holy Spirit of the Lord Jesus that can make you perform certain actions, like the one I'm going to state that Aristarchus did. So the person who is sending the greetings chose to be with Paul in prison. It was not very easy for him to be in prison with somebody. You know, if you want to know real freedom, then one day go to prison. When you visit prison anytime, you will get to know the true meaning of freedom. Many people are taking the freedom they have for granted. But I want to tell you, you may not know what freedom is before you go to prison and see how prisoners are in there. So in such a situation, in such a circumstance, Aristarchus found himself in he voluntarily went with Paul to prison. By the way, his presence in the prison gave Paul a lot of great comfort and encouragement. And that is why Jesus says, those who will go on the right hand side of him when he finally comes for the second time, he will tell them about visiting uh, the, 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 those who are in prison, visiting the sick and giving food and drink at a particular time in the past. So those will be on the right hand side of Jesus when he comes for the second time did one of the things that Aristarchus did. What was, what was it? Being with the servant of God in prison where there is no freedom at all. So he was there to be a great comforter, to be an encourager of Paul the apostle of Jesus Christ. Uh, just as I said the other time, that it is not very easy to find somebody who can be with you in a difficult situation, like jail. But here again, we find Aristarchus being with Paul in jail. Earlier, in his missionary journey, uh, Paul received a vision, which he was called to go to the Macedonians. When he went to the Macedonians, he wanted people who were there to believe in Jesus. So Paul preached. Paul preached to people in, in Macedonia. He preached here and there. 
And many people did not accept Jesus Christ. But Aristarchus was one of the people who accepted Jesus Christ in the missionary journey of Paul when he went to Macedonia. So at times when we preach, when we open our mouths to preach, then there is somebody somewhere who is getting converted and who believes in Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, once you believe in Jesus Christ, you are given the power of the Holy Spirit which can enable you to do things that human beings cannot do on their own. So the most astounding thing about uh, Aristarchus is that he was a fearless man. Very fearless. And he voluntarily and meekly adhered to the principles of the master under all circumstances. You know, Aristarchus to, for Aristarchus to go with Paul to jail, it is not an easy thing. If the master say, you go and be with my servant in jail, Aristarchus would go. So Aristarchus accepted to go and join Paul in jail, which no one can do today. I don't think if even the soldiers and the prison wardens can accept somebody to accompany the other into uh, the prison dungeon. It cannot be very easy. But fearless men and women of God can do things such as the ones that Aristarchus did voluntarily and meekly, without being coerced, without being forced. I know many of the people in this world are only forced to do things for Christ. They are forced to do things for the servants of God. They are forced to, to, to do this and to do that. But Aristarchus voluntarily and meekly did it. He was not compelled. He was not forced to do it. That is the man who sends greetings, Aristarchus. I want you to accept his greetings and accept his spirit of being a, a volunteer and a meek person in the service of God. Now, Aristarchus was not concerned about personal prestige. You know, many, many would say, I can't go to jail. That place smells bad. That place has lies. That place is not conducive for human health. But Aristarchus did not care about the prestige that we have today. And he accepted to go with Paul to jail. So... He would have stayed away from the prison if he wanted, but he chose to stay with Paul in prison. Now, this is what Jesus taught us in the book of John chapter 4 verse 34. If you read John chapter 4 verse 34, Jesus said, His food and his work is to do the will of him who sent me. That is what Jesus said. And Aristarchus, because he believed in the same Jesus, believed that his food is to do the will of him who sent him. And he didn't care. He didn't care which place he was going to find himself in. He stayed with Paul in jail, a place where many people fear. Even now people are putting on this mask and many other things because of not fearing uh, the disease, but fearing jail and maybe the police. So let me tell you, being in jail is not an easy thing for anyone. But Aristarchus chose to be in jail with Paul. Now look at that. Is it by his strength? Is it by his own might? Is it by his own power? No. It is only by the strength of the Holy Spirit of God that people like Aristarchus could do what they did. Without the Spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit, you cannot do such things. Without the power and the Spirit of God, you cannot accommodate guests who have been sent to preach to you in your house. It requires the Spirit and the power of God. Many think that when Aristarchus went to jail, that was his, 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 his personal choice. No. He was, he, was, he, was, he was empowered 
by the Holy Spirit to go and stay with Paul in jail. I want you to friend this man to have the same spirit that he had during this time of C-19, COVID-19. And for us, it is also through the spirit that we can do much. If we accept the spirit, then the spirit will help us to remain steadfast and loyal even if the going gets tough. So now that the going is getting tough and many people want to leave, many betrayers are, are jumping out and, and they're saying it is, it, it is enough. These people have, have, have eaten from us for, for, for a long time. Now let us stay at home and not give anything. Let me tell you, you don't have the power of the Holy Spirit. This is the time you need to be Aristarchus to get the power of the Holy Spirit to fill you so that you can have the power to do what is not possible by only human strength. So Aristarchus stayed with Paul in, in prison, helping Paul to endure the hard experiences he had to face. Let me contrast Aristarchus with one gentleman. This gentleman is called Demas. Demas, when he saw how things were, Demas found himself fleeing and running away because the going was getting too rough and too tough for him. So Demas left, but Aristarchus stayed. <laughs> what was the difference between the two people? The Holy Spirit of God. When you make a commitment with Jesus Christ, to be his person, to follow him faithfully, then let me tell you, Jesus will give you the power of the Holy Spirit, which will enable you to do what people deem as impossible, to endure the hard times, to go through the seasons that the church is in tribulation. You will only do it when you are like Aristarchus, who is sending greetings. Be like Aristarchus, who sends greetings to us today, who can stay with Paul even in the dungeon. However hard it was, he stayed. So I'm telling you, that same spirit must be ours today. That same spirit must be ours today if we are to endure to the end. So that's why I'm calling you. Kindly, think about Aristarchus. Think of what he did. And pray for the same spirit that was in Aristarchus to be in you. Because Aristarchus voluntarily gave himself to stay with Paul in jail. To help him. To encourage him. We need people who can encourage others at this time. We need people who can help others at this, at this time. We need people who can stay with others at this time. Not people who want to run away like Demas. Be an Aristarchus, not a Demas. And may the Lord bless you and give you the strength and the power of the Holy Spirit so that you can be like Aristarchus. Stay with the servants of God in good times and in bad times. May the Lord keep on keeping you alive with his spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, as we come to you again in prayer, we pray that you may help us to be an Aristarchus of today. We need the same spirit that he had to be in us during this particular time of the pandemic. And Lord, we pray that as you bestowed the power of the Holy Spirit upon uh, Aristarchus, do it to us today. If there is anyone who is willing to be an Aristarchus of the day, Lord Jesus, we pray for him that you may empower him to do what is even greater than what Aristarchus did. Bless my viewer, bless my hearer. Let them all receive this power so that they can do what seems impossible in the sight of man. Thank you, Jesus, for your Holy Spirit. Your Holy Spirit is so good and can help us in tribulation. Lord Jesus, we also pray that you may help all the viewers to support your, your servants who are in prison at this particular time, Lord Jesus. Let them support them with all their hearts to encourage them, to pray with them, and to give them hope. Lord, if they do that, your name will receive glory and honor. So as we end this uh, discussion now, Lord Jesus, we pray that you may make the truths sink into our hearts 
and bring the spirit of Aristarchus in us. We pray and trust in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shimilele, Anna, Shimilele.